Hi guys, so you've probably seen or heard about the uh, the new range of paints coming out from Army Painter and that's the War Paints Fanatic and yeah, as you can see, these look like they are going to cover something rotten which is obviously good in a rotten way Anyway, you know what I mean um, Yeah, so obviously I recently brought the Army Painter wet palette as well, I want to get hold of these uh, these new paints and use them but you've also seen in this uh, the wet palette that I brought, I made an inlay for it uh, 3D printed, uh, my ugly mug on it, and it's a lovely textured, well, dry brush palette. So this I thought was going to be fantastic and great for the war paints when they finally come out. But um, yeah, something else arrived. Get ready, uh, big drum roll, please. And Bosch, it's this lovely extra large wet palette from Army Painter. Uh, yeah, War Gamers edition. And as you can clearly see, well, the box is well a whole lot bigger than the uh, the previous wet palette, which can only mean yes, this one is truly extra large. Um, yeah, I'm very fortunate that Army Painter sent me this. I didn't know I was getting it, and to be honest, I mean I'd only seen that this was obviously available or pre-released available um, a day or two before it turned up. So yeah, I do love it when things turn up. I don't know what I'm expecting, and they're like this. So, as you can see, absolutely huge, plenty of room for brushes, and this one can contain loads of brushes because of the size of it, and loads of little uh, potholes there for your speed painting. Um, as you can see, yeah, I have already used this, uh, you might have seen this in, well, the last video I posted, I believe I used this. So this certainly is a lovely sized wet palette that I'll be using the, uh, the War Paints Fanatic range when, uh, well, when they obviously arrive, um, as, yeah, I do want to try out, obviously, a lot more different painting techniques. But, that being said, obviously the reason I liked the small palette because, well, as you can see, I've got my textured dry brush palette in amongst the wet one. So, there's only one thing for me to do, and that is to, well, make a larger textured dry brush palette uh, for the new extra large Wargamers edition wet palette. So, I'll take the, the original design, um, but as you can see, obviously this was like the inlay for the old box. The new one, uh, I needed to add an extra ring at the top. And so this is where obviously my skills in 3D model making are pretty much non-existent, but I can use Tinkercad to sort of make shapes, cut bits away, add bits. Uh, so yeah, it is simple to do if, um, well, you use simple software. <laughs> so yeah, joining the two bits together, this is now the right sort of look and sort of feel for a thing. The only problem is uh, the printer I've got, I want to, well, cut it in half because it's just huge. So again, simple thing with Tinkercad, you can just put something over there and add them together and it kind of like, well, when you say add them, it takes away the uh, the empty shape. And bosh, there you go. There's half the size of the palette, or the palette inlay even. So yeah, this I can save as, obviously as you can see at the top there, this is the left side. And then to get the right side, I say this is where this software is simple, which is great for someone like me who needs things to be simple. Um, all I've got to do is sort of undo or reverse what I've just done and obviously it comes back out and then I can just drag it across although I need to uh, <laughs> disconnect the two and just drag the uh, the empty sort of box over to the other side and again join them two up it deletes the other half and then I've now got my right hand side which I can then save and yeah simple as that really <laughs> I say it couldn't be any simpler uh, well unless I got someone else to do it I guess so using my uh, my usual 3D printer the old Uniformation GK2 and if you are thinking about getting a, um, a 3D printer, now certainly a good time to be looking out. Uh, there's some links down below guys, check them out because Unification are doing a Thanksgiving giveaway. So all you need to go do is click on the link, it takes you to their Instagram page. All you've got to do is share a story and yeah, you could be with a chance of winning a 3D printer, which is pretty awesome. And as well as that, they're also doing their Black Friday deals. So yeah, definitely the best time to get a 3D printer is now and yeah, check out the links down below. So obviously I've got my printer, now I just need the resin, and as you'll have seen recently, I'm loving this stuff. It's the Amaro Labs re resin, and yeah, I've been using this quite a bit now. I'll say it is great quality resin, um, great for miniatures as well, they have a lot of flex to them. So rather than that brittle, snappy sort of feel, these ones have a more, I don't want to say rubbery feel, because that's not quite how they feel, it's, it's hard to say. Well, they feel like the kind of plastic toys you would buy, sort of, well, from any kind of shop. Which isn't too surprising as this stuff is, well, professional resin. So yeah, usual thing, couple of buttons, bish bash bosh, printer starts working. 
And then a few hours later, yeah, my print is complete. One thing I always say, guys, I'm lacking in space where I am. So as you can see, I can't lift the cover up fully. So funny enough, I 3D printed this little uh, little thing. Again, made in Tinkercad to keep the lid open just so I can uh, I can take my prints out. I say 3D printers, you can use them for anything. Um, in this case, I'm using it as a tool to help my 3D printers lid stay up. Um, but there you go. Yeah, as you can see, the prints have all come out. Uh, there's obviously I did the four. Two have come out perfectly, the other two, some of the supports are missing, but the print still came out, which is pretty awesome. So as you can see here, there's a little bit there, yeah, the gap at the bottom, uh, but the print came out somehow, not too sure. So yeah, got the four, but obviously I just need the two. These just need a bit of cleaning up, as you can see, wearing gloves. Again, guys, I know you always leave comments, and you do care about my, uh, my health and safety, and there are some occasions where you'll see me not wearing gloves. When I don't wear gloves, it's generally because I'm not going to get the resin, well, on my hands. But obviously these have just literally come out of the printer. So yeah, use gloves until, well, until it's fully washed and cured. So the supports come off really good. I say, I am pleased that this has come out because I did do the supports this myself. And yeah, if I do ever get any fails, it's because of the supports. So they are now going to go in their little wash system. So this is all from uh, Uniformation. Um, I, do, I do love my little setup. Uh, their stuff is it's probably the best I've ever used and so I've been 3D printing now for about three years And this is definitely my favorite printer and wash and cure system And um, the printer say the printer is great this time of year in the UK We are having a bit of a cold spell uh, not surprising because it's winter But the GK2 does have a heated bed so it heats up the resin to the right temperature So yeah failures are kind of a thing of the past unless like me you're messing about doing supports so yeah, put it in the, uh, the old curing station here, obviously it spins round, there's lights above, below, to the side, and yeah, bish bash bosh, it's nice and cured, and then I can finally hold it in my little hands. So everything's come out really well, um, so really pleased the fact that obviously I've been able to break this into two bits, so it fits in the printer nicely, and yeah, it's just a case now of gluing it together. So let me know in the comments guys, if you're as excited as I am to get hold of the War Paints Fanatic range. As I say, the old slap chop paint, tank, painting technique is generally my go-to, but I want to do some more sort of bits to it. Um, basically sort of bring, bring up layers, do a bit of stippling, add in some extra highlights, um, and just, yeah, generally having more fun with painting and improving on what I'm doing. So this has gone together pretty well. Uh, as you can see, there is a slight gap in the middle, um, but don't fear, this is where good old grout comes in. Um, yeah, or if you're in America, I think, is it speckle, spackle? Uh, but yeah, UK, we call it grout, um, filler, uh, wall adhesive tile stuff. Yeah, whatever you want to use, just put some of that in there, then clean it up with my finger. Um, and yeah, as I say, there's only a little gap, but I didn't want, well, any gap. So filled the gap and then primed it or painted it in, well, my favourite colour, which just happens to be orange. And as we can see, there's no gaps at all. So yeah, this, um, <laughs> I do love my textured dry brush palette, uh, especially with my uh, my ugly mug on it. And this fits in a treat to the, uh, the wet palette system. Um, I have spoken to Army Painter and mentioned obviously that they should include this kind of thing. Obviously not with my ugly mug on it, although if they did, that'd be awesome. Um, and yeah, they have said that obviously their wet palettes are designed and made to be versatile and well, you can add bits on. So they are probably going to be thinking about doing this, and I reckon, guys, it won't be long until Army Painter are doing their own sort of inlay, textured, dry brush, well, palette. And there we go. I now have the Wargamers Edition Extra Large Wet Palette, which also has a textured dry brush palette in it, as well as obviously the lovely area where you can use all your speed paints. So yeah, the Extra Large Palette certainly does have, well, everything I need to do all my kinds of painting, which is just awesome. And yeah, I can't wait to start, well, dry brushing over my face. <laughs> um, yeah, it's awesome. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. The uh, the STLs for my wet palette inlays are over on my Patreon page, links down below. And don't forget to check out the GK2 offers at the moment, the Thanksgiving one, we can win one for free, and the discount for their Black Friday ones. Okay, guys, video on the screen, give that a click, see more of what I do. Big thank, out, thank you to my patrons as well as my monthly sponsors for helping keeping me going. And yeah, you guys take care. See you in the next one. Bye for now.